There is a story about one of the famous Muslim scholars, Fakhruddin al-Razi, rahimahullah, who lived in the 6th century Hijri. And he was a pretty famous person. He has a big tafsir. He has many other works. Uh, his tafsir really is called the big tafsir, the tafsir al-kabir. So he was out walking in the street one day, and you, 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 can, you can imagine how it is, right? Like a celebrity out on the streets, people are pointing and uh, talking to each other about him and so on. But there's an old woman there who is not quite sure what all the excitement is about. So she asks and they tell her, that, well, that's Fakhruddin al-Razi, the famous theologian, don't you know? He knows 100 different proofs for the existence of Allah. And the woman was not too impressed. She said, well, if he had not had 100 doubts to begin with, he wouldn't have needed 100 proofs. So for her, the existence of Allah was something intuitive, right? You don't need to prove it. 